Welcome to the Wally Show precast. Also, uh, Facebook living this uh, right now. And uh, we are doing our compassion event. So we're not doing normal shows, but we still wanted to do a uh, precast because we love our potties. Yay! It's not Yay. even a precast. It's just a podcast. It's just a cast. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. And so uh, this was from Nick. Uh, Nick said, Hey, uh, you were in rare form on Monday. That was uh, yesterday's podcast. Yes, you were. I know. I, I think I was trying to get fired and like saying a bunch of dumb things. And. Uh, <laughs> Because I do that every once in a while. No. I get bo- yeah, crazy. Once in a blue moon. Yeah, once in a blue month. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he says, uh, I, my only question for you is, can you make it two for two? <laughs> Well, yes, Wally, I can, Nick. Wally, yes. Wally. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Zach and I have this uh, professional event we have to talk at, like, inside of radio, like, in a couple weeks. And I want to pull part of the uh, thing from yesterday's podcast about, like, uh, being honest, even when everyone else in the world is telling you not to be. <laughs> and I want to use that audio as an example uh, because it was pretty funny. If you missed it, go back and check out yesterday's uh Which, by the way, audio. we're throwing all these up on YouTube, too. So if oh, you, really? you can watch them on Facebook. Facebook or on YouTube. Oh, wow. I, I forgot about this. I always forget about the Facebook Live, even though For I mention YouTube it. Sensation. Right. Yes. <laughs> That's it, Betty. I think and the camera actually went off of me. So yes. you get oh, to there see this. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, so Nick goes on to say, uh, my fiance, Anne Marie's birthday was a couple days ago. Uh, would you wish her a happy 21st birthday? So yes, Anne Marie, happy uh, 21st birthday. My question for the show is, what is the best lesson you've ever learned from a movie or a TV show? Okay, oh, that's man. tough. I'll you gotta give, you give some... us this ahead of time. I'm yeah. gonna give you time to Ooh. think, okay? Because uh, he goes on to say, mine was from Firefly when Mal, the main character, remarks that being on the losing side isn't the same as being on the wrong side. Interesting. Mm. Hmm, that's pretty deep. My standard go-to is always uh, fear causes hesitation, and hesitation will cause your worst fears to come true. Patrick Swayze, point break. <laughs> Think. Uh... <laughs> I don't know that I have one. All I can think of is a, a line from Star Wars that's not relevant in life at all. <laughs> it's from when um, uh, Chancellor Palpatine becomes Emperor Palpatine. Nerd! And, nerd! <laughs> and, Girl uh, nerd! Stop it! It's a GERD! <laughs> stop it. Rare form, Nick. <laughs> and uh, Next. Who's next? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> stop that. Don't disrespect her like that, Betty. And so they give the power to him as the emperor, so he's basically oh this dictator be, uh, character. And and Senator uh, Amidala is like, so this is how democracy is lost to thunderous applause because uh, everyone was behind. I know it's dumb. Okay. Wow. Dumb. Pass. Pass. I'm it's out. a long way to go for that. Yeah. You can't I say don't have, I you, told you, I don't have a life the thing to go with it, but it goes in my mind all the time. For, for the no record, reason. you can't take three minutes to tell a story and then say pass. <laughs> like, <laughs> without a point in the pass, I'm out. <laughs> really? Okay, okay. I, want, I want another chance. Okay, take a minute to think no, no, about it. Marty, I, it. I saw your face light up when we asked this question. My wife Marty's here with us for the compassion drive, and she sticks around for this. Yeah, I actually thought you were going to be saying the one, uh, I don't even know, was it from Evan Almighty? For a Morgan Freeman playing oh, God yes. and saying basically not to be praying for patience because I'll give you reasons right. to be to pray learn for the, patience. Pray for the opportunity. He said, right. like, when you pray for patience, I don't give you patience. I give you the opportunity yeah. to be patient. And I know that's not like from the Bible or anything, but I thought it was really profound. And, and, and it's, a, it's a great point. Because I know that I uh, like I, my patience gets tested all the time. <laughs> it's better than your other one. Your whatever my one. Point- I don't know about that. It was good. You okay. Switch. Becca, did you yes, get it? Yes, I got it. Pass. <laughs> good answer. Good yes. answer. You did that well. You knocked that out of the park, actually. Uh, I, Zachary. I do have one um, from the movie iRobot. Yes. Where uh, the robots. Will Smith. Yes. The robots are charged with protecting the humans. Oh. And when you play that out to its ultimate conclusion, it's imprisoning the humans. And that taught me that, like, this freedom, which we say is a good thing, and protection, which is a good thing. But they're often they're at opposite ends of the scale. And it's never tough. trust robots. And never yes. trust robots. But so you have to pick somewhere along that line you're comfortable with. Everyone picks a different place. Yeah, because for those two things to coexist, like you have to give up one for the other a little bit. And right. so you're right. Where does that line hit? And that's how I view politics, because I think every political issue comes down to one side wants a freedom, one side wants a protection. And so both sides are are pulling for something that's good. But 
So on one end you've got Senator Palpatine yes. over here. Well, he became chancellor. He was, he was chancellor. Chancellor Palpatine. Right. And then somebody Amidala over here. And then you convolute the whole thing and then you yell pass. Yes. Got it. Absolutely. Padme. How do you not know pa- and whatever? Uh, yeah. Uh, and what oh I'm the dumb one. She wanted to be protected from giving a bad quote. Yes. yes. But she also wanted the freedom to share her horrible story. Yes. So they're competing values. Tyler commented on Facebook Live and said, How about with great power comes great yes. responsibility from Spider Man? That's a great lesson. And that's one that you think is in the Bible, but it's not. It was actually Spider-Man. And I, and, but I believe that. And as we talk about like our compassion drive that we're doing right now, there's an e- there's an element of that. Which, by the way, you can sponsor a kid at allwally.com. Don't be a slacker, potty. <laughs> yeah, like you, because Janice pointed out Wally's the only one that gets a chair. Yes, <laughs> yes. Of slackers. Oh, you know what else has chairs? No, oh, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> I, I just need to sit down. I'm tired. Uh, but w- during the compassion event, we're talking about that too. Like we've been blessed beyond measure, but with that blessing comes a responsibility, and that we need to take care of people that have less than us, and that is biblical, you know. So what's what are you laughing at? Tyler followed up with, "He's not sitting in a chair, just short." <laughs> 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 that is kind of funny. Do you have yeah. a quote, Betty? I do. Oh, yes. Mine is from a Disney classic, Lilo and Stitch. Of course. Where Lilo, he goes, these friends are my family. Oh. Ohana means family. family. And so that's for us? We're your family? Friends are family. Oh. Why are you laughing? Because he's not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> or your what family. Is a friend? <laughs> it's funny. I don't like Oh, right. man. All right. Oh, here's another one from uh, Shelby. It says, uh, hey, my name's Shelby. My husband, Matthew, and I are celebrating years of wedded bliss. Yay. Congratulations. That's right around happy, in between. Happy birthday. From, happy nope. anniversary from Never all mind. of us to you. We wish it was our anniversary so we could fight, too. Um, oh, wow. That's no, terrible. I'm just, I'm <laughs> Uh, so uh, I know you typically do birthday shout outs, but I'd like for you to uh, uh, wish us a happy anniversary. Um, and so there you go. Happy anniversary, uh, Shelby, to you and your husband, uh, John. I'm sorry, your husband, uh, whichever your husband is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, what? Matthew. My husband, Matthew. What? How are there two names? It's not. I, I read Jan at uh, January oh, my as John. <laughs> It's French. Wow. Jean. Jean. It's French. I'm very I'm very Parisian. Wow. Okay. I'll read these ahead of time. I, 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 you know, the sad part is I do. Uh, but then I get lost in them. And because I, you're in such a hurry to get it. I don't. Uh, but the prob- no, the problem is I can't still... read well. I, that's yeah, not the problem. You should make fun of him for that, Betty. Yeah, that's I have mean. a condition. That's the no, whole jingle of our email, though. Yeah, I am. Damn. So you're making fun of dyslexic. I want to be clear. I want to. I want to no, be on I'm the record so as Betty saying at allwally.com. Betty is making fun of people with dyslexia. Got it. Okay. I, I have am a condition. Simply telling you. Yes. To slow down. Okay. You. I'm slow. Got it. Okay. All right. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's how wow. dyslexics hear it. I know. Uh, so I'm a bully. I really do have. That's why I hate reading things because I I don't read well and like all the letters get mixed up and then my head jumps. Uh, through sentences and so I hate reading these things cold but says uh, I know the deal is to ask a question in exchange for uh, the shout out so here's my question what if you could if you could change anything about the day you met your significant other what would you change oh, oh. man Jeez. sorry this Rock. Is for a limited amount of people <laughs> 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 not play. In my face. sorry sorry uh, I thought it was gonna be say what would you change about your significant other and I'm like what a horrible day for my wife to be here uh, but uh, which uh, the answer obviously is nothing um, but so what would you change about the day you met your significant other huh mine's an easy one okay uh, I I would change that I wish I could remember meeting him because <laughs> no, sorry, Joey. Guys, okay, come on. We met in fifth grade at some point, but it was kind of one of those things where he was in the same class, the Sunday school class, so he was just always there. So I don't right. remember meeting him. It was just he was always around. And uh, I remember the first day I flirted with him. When, when was that? And when, how old were you? I, we were 17. Oh, um, okay. So, yeah, right before we started dating. Um, but I don't remember meeting him, even though I knew him between fifth grade and when I was How great 17. would it be if somebody had a picture of you guys, like, from well, years ago? I know there's one somewhere, because we, we were both super involved in church growing up, so I know there's one, like, a group photo. Mm. Uh, but I actually have a picture of him that I took on a disposable camera at fifth grade camp. Oh, so and you kept it all these years? Yeah, because it's just him, and it's 
terrible picture because it's like lobster. my fingers are the thing. But wow, yeah, that's so that's crazy. kind of fun. And he weighs the same amount as he did oh, in fifth grade. I now. know he's lost a hundred pounds. Is it a hundred now? 100. He hit a hundred. Dad, come Joey's back in the hospital again. Yeah. If you're if you're uh, keeping score at home, this is the this uh, is day fifth fifty-four. Go, oh, my goodness gracious! So Becca's staying here uh, doing the podcast because she loves you and should be uh, over there, and she's headed there now. Uh, we should do a groceries. podcast from the hospital room. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, That'd we could do fantastic. Facebook Live. Yes. That'd be fa- and they could ask Joey questions about his pancreas. Uh-huh. And he could show he could do show and tell with his drain. Yes, we've always wanted to see what that looks like. Uh, he always hides it. Pin the it. pancreas on the Joey. Yes, I love where this is going. <laughs> uh, so, all right, uh, let's go with you, Zach, before we dive into Marty. <laughs> um, I... I don't know what I would change. I we met. Um, she showed up at the like singles group I went to at church. It was like a, a service, and then went out. Like the whole group went out for lunch afterwards. The place wasn't very good. Lots of like fish and like it was like a, I don't know, fish beans place. and rice. It just wasn't that good. I th- thought she was really talkative and interested, and figured out later it's just she was trying to meet people to find a job (laughs) like she was in college at the time and she was looking for a new job and that's why she's being so outgoing and friendly to everybody funny yeah i thought i thought like oh man i'm 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 doing well here is sarah younger than you uh no she is six months uh, seven months oh she did college a little later yeah Yeah, she she went back to school that's right my wife's older than me too like like seven months joey's older or no i'm older than joey i mean wow that's kind of crazy that's weird Uh, all right so marty pants what would you change about the day we met uh i remember it distinctly Do you? <laughs> <laughs> the whole day. <laughs> Everything about it. I would have moved to another no, country. Marty's the only person in this room that likes him. Yes. <laughs> Dang, that's not nice, y'all. He's laughing and crying. Be- because I'm hurt. Crying. His heart is crying. We love you. Wally, look into my eyes. We all love you so much. You can't even say it with a straight <laughs> face. Once again, you're the mad. best. Pass. <laughs> all right. So what, what? what would you change? Well, are you are are they asking for the first day I saw you or the first day we actually met? I would. It says the day you met. When okay. was the first day you saw me? Um, Were you stalking me? No. Catch. You were in the back of the police cruiser. Yes, I had long hair. I was in a band. I understand. Right, we'll it. just go with the first day. That- Okay. We met. What was, was St. Patrick's Day. I remember that at Bennigan's. At Bennigan's. Oh, that's such a yeah. It's like a Friday place to no, go. No, it for was a... actually not yeah. that. He. Oh, this sounds bad though. Okay, <laughs> go, ahead. With... go ahead. Tell the story. Your date. Yeah, I was with my date. Oh wow. But yeah. we were. It was. She was my. Yep, your friend. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Oh, oh Marty. Wow. <laughs> In quotes. Marty um, was a temptress. No. How could you? No. no, y'all. Listen. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, so we were all going out. There was a group of us, and so you and she mm-hmm. were there as part of the group. So that was the first time I actually met you, and I thought at the time that I'm like, oh, he's such a great guy, but you weren't as into her as she was into you. So right. it's not like I stole him or right. anything like that, and we weren't like best friends or anything we were just like acquaintances in college Her, so you're yeah. telling us that there's lots of ladies were pursuing wally and in love with wally at the yeah kind of crazy huh hmm. weird. Hey, really weird you are a cat i know it sounds like <laughs> fiction but it's true uh no so yeah so okay so i w- was dating this girl and then i i met marty and i remember thinking oh she's really cool like i i enjoyed you like uh, like just a little bit of interaction and then the more we hung out i'm like oh this is like we're really good friends like you and i started to build a friendship yeah. And then this other girl and I, we just weren't clicking. So uh, I ended up breaking up with her. And then we hung out as friends for like seven months, just yeah. going to movies or just, you know, doing friend stuff, you know, before we started dating. And and that's what I knew. The thing I would have changed about that day was... Who you with? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think I would have changed uh, the thing about that day to not have been like at Bennigan's and that kind yeah. of... The- Around it, I would have liked to it have to a different place, like a wind tunnel with yes. a light shining on. That, yes. <laughs> when okay. you say that, it, that at St. Patrick's Day, people are probably getting the idea that oh, we were going. Oh out yeah, we were like, drinking, drinking stuff, and it wasn't that. It was like it's like Fridays or Chili's. Right. You know, Benigan's isn't <laughs> they have around a great anymore. Turkey O'Toole. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. not around anymore, but we went there for dinner. Yeah. There's, <laughs> even <though laughs> in college, there's some funny comments about your uh, first encounter. Uh, said so. I'm guessing the first thing you the top of his head. <laughs> Rude. And Sam, <laughs> and Sam says, a bunch of women chasing Wally 
makes sense. The eight were a crazy time for everyone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's all. I appreciate the jokes. They sting a little, but I appreciate them. But to make no you stronger idea. to to Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> oh man, well there. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Actually, that was, that was so much fun. I'm glad we all could participate. <laughs> you, you know what, Rock Brother, you're on that one. To be honest with you, <laughs> I took a few more shots. Uh, I think it's gonna have to do it for the uh, podcast here today. Just remember, too, man, we love you as potties. But the more you can get involved with the show and do some really great, like that sponsor we do, a child. That's true. I mean, that's one of the like we we around and we have fun, and I love that. But the other part of that is serious we do and that's like help out these kids and you can be part of that just because you're a pot doesn't mean you can't be part of that well and we love the fact that you get the sense of the humor of the show better than like people that listen truly as they call it or on the video and so I, I would love to see potties like so get involved and you go online and you sponsor a kid let us know that you're a pot we see that when it comes through but till tomorrow morning when we're <laughs> yes. on the show so we get credit for I am a horrible person, okay? I'm very competitive. <laughs> anyway, so that's good for the uh, podcast today. And as always, thanks for being body.